My perfect day fly fishing would have to be, you start out, you know, you can hear the birds, the sun's just rising, because I always get there before the sun. And I walk out and I'm flipping over rocks, I'm, I'm looking at the, the scenery, I'm checking things out. And then necessarily, I, I guess flipping rocks isn't really the first thing I do. I usually go and I try and I act like I know what I'm doing and I'll just throw on my confidence flies if I'm being honest. And then I'll go out and after I get humbled, <laughs> which usually happens, and it's almost like you look for that part in it and it makes you slow down and pick apart the process rather than just, oh, I can go in here and this is going to work. It makes a guy work for it if you want to have a great day where you're catching fish nonstop. Now again, that's not always what it's about, but you definitely feel more rewarded when you, you go out there and you, you've achieved. When you're out there and you're just listening to the animals and you don't have the distractions of daily life, vehicles, noise, everything else that go along with it, solitude, serenity, those are like, those stand out big time. I mean, fish is great. You always hope to catch fish, but the whole point of being out there is to relax. And I think a lot of guys fish their whole life realizing it wasn't ever the fish they were after the whole solitude of it. That's really what makes it art. You know, you get to hang out with friends or not. Sometimes you want to go fish alone. That has its own peacefulness to it too, right? You go do your own thing. You don't always have to be proving yourself to somebody. So it's like a stress-free, relaxed environment for me. It's my happy place.